Howard, 18 and 16 overall. Miak, right? Is that right? I think, I think so. That's right. They beat Morgan State, Norfolk State, Delaware State through their conference tournament to advance. They played at Georgia Tech very early in the year, lost 88 85. Played at James Madison early in the year, lost 107 to 86. Uh, played at Rutgers early in the year, lost 85 63. Uh, went to overtime against Cincinnati and lost 86 81. So just a couple um, games that they had against Power Five or Six type of teams. Wagner. 16 and 15 overall beat, I think they are in EAC, um, beat Sacred Heart, Central Connecticut State, and Merrimack uh, to advance through that conference tournament. Um, some games they played earlier in the year, played at Seton Hall, lost 72-51, played at Providence, lost 86-52, played someone called Gwynnid Mercy, never even heard of that, and won 98-49 in case you're concerned. Uh, Mississippi State, 21-13. and 13. Um, They obliterated Tennessee, which is what has Adam so worried, um, <laughs> which is understandable. I mean, that was a great win. They beat Tennessee 73-56, then lost to Auburn in the semifinals of the SEC tournament. They finished SEC play uh, this season at 8-10. and 10. Um, In the preseason before uh, SEC play, um, they beat Arizona State. They beat Washington State. They beat Northwestern. They lost at Georgia Tech um, early in the year, lost to Southern early in the year as well. Michigan State finished 19 and 14, went 11 and 11 in conference. They played 22 Big Ten games. Maybe that counts conference tournament. Yeah, maybe. That's a lot. Uh, they lost to Purdue in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament after beating Minnesota earlier. Um, Non-conference action, of course. They played Duke early in the season, lost 74 65, uh, lost to Arizona early in the year, beat Butler. Remember, they lost to James Madison in that game at the very beginning of the season that everybody made such a big deal about. So, um, that just some quick little snapshots of some teams that Carolina could play. Michigan State, um, as well, I was about to say, as it traditionally is, it's an okay rebounding team, slight rebound advantage uh, through the regular season. Mississippi State, I'm going to guess, Adam, just from what I've base, kind of little bit seen of them, big, tough, athletic team, pretty decent defensive team, particularly against the three. They're holding teams to under 30% from there. Um, so that could be a challenge. They are a good rebounding team, out-rebounding opposition by almost six per game on average this season. Um, Tariels obviously would have a size and personnel advantage over Wagner or over Howard one would expect Carolina to be the bigger teams there against either one of them Howard's one of the worst defensive teams in the country Wagner is one of the worst offensive teams in the country Wagner plays slower than any other team in division one. Oh my so Virginia the gall has been thrown down you can watch that first four game learn how to do it the right way which in general I think a slow playing team gives you a little more pause in the tournament oh, yes. because if your shots aren't going in, you're getting fewer possessions. And we've just seen a weekend where the Tar Heels shots didn't go in and that caused a problem. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, Wagner doesn't shoot it very well either. So, I mean, as you would expect, they're in the 16 versus 16 first four game. They've got some holes. Uh, then when you move on to that eight versus nine game, I think the, the general – characteristics of a team that's in the eight nine game is good enough to beat you hasn't been able to do that consistently right but has had a few shining moments in which they look like one of the best teams in the country yeah I mean and again Carolina's been in this game in recent years and so I think that was that's probably a good summary of the Tar Heels when they were in those type of games I think in general Mississippi State probably is a little closer to the profile of a team that would give you concern if you were thinking about Tar Heel matchups, um, they do turn the ball over a whole bunch, which I think is good because then Carolina could get out and run and transition. Obviously, the thing that worries you about Michigan State is they're coached by Tom Izzo. And at this time of year, everyone tells you that Tom Izzo is the best coach there is, which he obviously is a, a good coach. Um, 
and in a short turnaround, you respect his ability to get his team ready for a good opponent they haven't seen, like the Dariels. Um, that's obviously a little more of a question with Mississippi State, who we don't know as much about coaching-wise. Um, so, I mean, look, I can get scared of either one of them at a moment's notice, but I can also make a really strong case for why the Tar Heels have had a better season than any of these other three teams in the Charlotte tournament, as we'll hear Hubert Davis talk about later. Um, and if the Tar Heels play up to their capability, they've got a great chance to move on. 